two sheds here. <laughs> I picked up a box of pennies while I was out and about today, plus another uh, $15 in these um, customer rolled. I never know what to think of these. Um, you know, I always feel like maybe that's something they've already gone through, but I think I see some com copper at the end of a few of them, so I don't know. You never know. It, but yeah, this is nice. I always like to have some type of ender to start with. And we have a 2009 on the right there and a 1977 Canadian uh, copper penny. That's fun. I always have, I like having wheat pennies, but those are, at least is something pretty cool. Well, the first two rolls, I got my 2009 and my Canadian and a little bit of copper. Um, so hopefully uh, we'll find a lot more. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of wheat pennies too. I will, um, after I can finish the box, the $25 worth, then I'll weigh everything to see how I did. I forgot my three pounds. And then I'll get into the last uh, $15 worth of the other ones over there. I'm several rolls in, and I have not found much. But here we have a Canadian copper, looks like. 1965. It's nice. It's a couple of cop Canadians now. I did get a couple of gnarly ones. I am like a dozen rolls in, and I finally get to my first wheat penny. It's a 55D. Finally. There's wheat penny number two. 1945, Philadelphia. I'm halfway through the box now, and I have two wheat pennies, two Canadian coppers, and the one 2009. Not a very productive box so far. Um, I hope the second half gets a little bit better than the first half. This is the end of the fourth row in the second half of this box of coins. And I finally come to my third wheat penny. 1945, Philadelphia. This box uh, has not produced uh, very well. I'm pretty positive I'm not going to get three pounds of copper. And from the looks of it, I'm not going to get a whole lot of wheat pennies. But uh, I hope this is just a fluke and not the norm. I hope I'll still... After this, still get my three pounds of copper and my ten wheat pennies on average. I have one more box still left. Uh, maybe that one will tell me a little bit. I'm now over halfway through with the second half of the box, and I'm still just at three wheat pennies. I did pick up one more 2009. I'm getting a lot of the uh, gnarly pennies in this box. Ten rolls to go, and we finally get our fourth. It's always oh, a 1952S. I always like the S's for some reason. Very cool. Not my most productive box for sure, but I guess that happens sometimes. Oh, look at that. There's another wee penny. Well, that's nice. That's five. That already makes the second half more productive than the first half. 1946D. Oh, cool. With six rolls to go, there's Wheat Penny number six, 1956, Philadelphia. Pretty good condition.
Hope I'll find another Canadian. Well, this is my last roll in the box. I still just have six wheat pennies and two Canadian copper, two 2009s. I, I kept out a couple of nice looking S pennies back there. A whole lot of the gnarlies in this box. Let's see if we get anything at all in this last roll. Zinc. Well, a few copper, and that was it. I'll weigh um, my 82s and then see what I got for today's copper. I'm pretty sure it's under three pounds. Two pounds, 11 ounces. I didn't think it'd be three. Um, I'll get a couple of pound bags um, weighed out and get those put in the box back there. And I will be ready for our next hunt. Hold on there, Baba Louie. <laughs> I just remembered I got all those to go through. So, uh, let's back up and get these gone through. Well, I was certainly not sure what to expect from these rolls, but that's a really good sign right there. Oh, my. That's an old penny. I believe that says 1919. Golly. Well, that's neat. Hope I find more like that. Well, there's a few coppers in that row, but man, 1919, that's totally cool. Two rolls left in this $15 worth, and I finally found my second wheat penny. It's like a 54D. I also found three 2009s and one Canadian non-copper penny. Not a ton of copper, but I'm getting some. It's the zinc and another. It's the zinc. I picked up two more wheat pennies, one of them being over a hundred years old, and just in a little over a pound and seven ounces. So to add to that, so that puts me right up there by four pounds today, even though it was uh, in more than a $25 box. I'll get 
uh, these bagged up ones that I can. I was four pennies shy of having my four pounds uh, to put in my box. And remember why, if you did the math, it would have been over. But I'm counting these as a pound of copper, not a pound of pennies. A pound of pennies is about 145, but a pound of copper is approximately 154 because 5% is zinc. And so just, I just thought I'd go do it this way this time. Uh, well, I mean, in these bags, each bag is 154 pennies. I weigh each one. Each one uh, weighs between 1.07 and 1.09 pounds so that I know that I'm, I'm right in there. Okay, I'm going to add this. I've only got one started in this box. And when I get 12, I'll write on there 12 pounds and put tape over the top of it. And start up an extra one. <laughs>